Yo, what's going on everybody? Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got the release date for the newest update. We're going to be taking a look at that. We got the cover art, but we also got some information revealed about like premium shop items and some more stuff and features that's going to be on the way. So those have been leaked. We're going to go over that. And I also got that information from one of our community members, D Justin. So a shout out to them for um, putting us on this and sharing that bit of information because most people know about the release date already, but uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that I wanna go over. If you guys do enjoy this content at all or anything on my channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're also going to set a goal for 1,000 likes on this video. You guys did it on yesterday's video in like record time and we're talking like in four hours, 1,000 likes. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that. And if you would subscribe to the channel, I'd appreciate you so much. Only 61% of people that actually watch my content are subscribed. So double check and make sure that you are. We're going to be diving into the new update in just a few days. And I'm so excited to share so much content with you in live streams. But let's jump right over to Twitter. And then we're going to go take a look at the leaked premium items. Alrighty, so here we are. They posted, mark your calendars and get ready to roar with laughter. Disney Dreamlight Valley's ninth update, The Laugh Floor, arrives on February 28th, free for all players. So yeah, we have just one week and this update will finally be ours. Let's take a look at it. So they did share off this little video. I'll go ahead and play it. You can see butterflies, got some light illuminating from the castle. This is going to be a realm. So it looks like we got the scare factory. Hopefully it's a lot larger than what we're seeing here. We have Mike and Sully um, or Mike and Sully. They both look really good. I think their character models look really nice. Sully it looks cute. He's a definitely a little bit different of a vibe, different art style than in the films, but he looks really good still. One huge standout point for this update is the character's skin color. If you notice, it is purple. So it looks like we're going to be able to have different... Um, skin types and stuff. It looks like I was right. I did make a video a couple days ago about some monster like style features being implemented to the game. We thought maybe they would add like you could have one eye or multiple eyes. Uh, we don't see that yet, but we definitely have pretty much any skin color that you want added to the game. It looks like you can have it. The outfit looks really cool. The hairstyle is new. I have not seen the hairstyle. I actually don't know what it. It looks like um, I can't remember her name, but the the main a female character off of Hercules that hairstyle looks just like her so I wonder if they're adding that I think it could be adding it to the star path um these doors look like basic doors maybe these are going to be touch of magic doors so they could be adding a touch of magic two doors which would be great because they're adding new doors to the game but if you could like actually be able to design a room and then make your own touch of magic door to fit the theme 10 out of 10. That would be literally the coolest thing ever. And then I'm not really seeing anything else here that stands out to me. This is like the little fragment piece from e, um, Eternity Isle. So they did throw that on the wall. Other than that, I don't see anything else other than that. Even back here in the background, it looks like just Mickey's house and Minnie's house back there. But I'm super hyped for it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. They haven't given us any patch notes or anything yet. If I refresh, yeah, it's just the same thing. So no patch notes yet. They did have the Nintendo Direct, but there was no trailer. I was hoping we were going to get some sort of trailer with that. Unfortunately, no. So this is something I wanted to actually share. And this was something that was made up by GameSpot. So they're like a news article. I'm not really sure exactly where they got the information. So take this with a grain of salt. It sounds legit. It looks legit. And I'm pretty sure this is what it's going to, you know, things that are going to be in the game. But I have not confirmed 100%. But they are a very reputable news source. And so they said that the Monsters, Inc. love doesn't stop with a new realm and characters. Though, as this updates, a lovely monster star path is also filled with exciting decorations and items, including special dream styles for both Mike and Sully. Even the premium shop is receiving some items straight from Monstropolis, such as the Snuggly Duckling Tavern House Style. What? Yes, uh, please, let's go. A boo onesie and a sushi counter featuring the hilarious octopus-like monster chef. That sounds amazing. It definitely sounds legit to me. 
but I'm hyped for it. Plus, Mike is slowly getting a dream style. What's that going to be? Like, is it going to be their university versions? Are they going to be, you know, when Mike's got all of his little oven mitts on? I don't know. It says, if you're feeling inspired by all the Monsters, Inc. thrills, you'll probably be excited to hear that Gameloft has expanded the character customization features by adding new skin tone options that will allow you to make yourself monstrous if you please. Additionally, there will now be contact lenses. Okay, what game does that? That is awesome. They're allowing you to have contact lenses now. Extra ear styles. Ear styles. Are we going to have monster ears now? Are we a fan of this? If it gets too monstery, is it going to deter and take away? I don't know because Disney is a world. It's a magical world where you could have anything, all types. I don't think it's going to take anything away from the magic of the game if, you know, your character is allowed to have, you know, purple skin color or, you know, like big Dumbo ears or whatever. I don't know. Any more features? And plus, it's always a choice. Like, you don't even have to. How, you know, if you could customize your character to look more like a monster or maybe some other creature or something else as the game, you know, lifespan, it'll change what you can do in your options when it comes to doing dream snaps and setting up a, a theme maybe you could have like a fairy style features on your character and then make a fairy background or something like that so it's definitely cool and more face paint options than before you can finally change your name we didn't know that but you're going to be able to change your name which is great for multiplayer but the improvement many players will be most happy about in this update is scrooge mcduck's store Gameloft has not only promised that item rotation will be dramatically better, but also that the store will now have more pedestals to purchase items from, and that the daily catalog purchase amount has been increased. Here's to hoping we can find more than just couches and beds now. So to me, this update sounds like an absolute win. It sounds incredible to me. I think it's going to be a great update. I like that. It sounds like they're doing some quality of life features, some changes for your characters, which is nice. I always want more ways for people to express themselves or express the character that they've created in the game. And I think it's wonderful. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. We have just one week until update. Um, super exciting news. Uh, they sh will probably reveal more stuff as the week goes by, but I'm, I'm absolutely hyped for it. Now, guys, the reset is today, obviously. So here is my submission. I think it looks pretty good. I want like a fairy wonderland, like mystical type of vibe. I try to get some sparkles, some shine in there. I had my favorite outfit, at least at the time when I made it, which was the all white outfit you've been seeing me wear for the past months. And um, my results, I think were pretty good. I was expecting to get 4K on this one. I don't always expect to get 4,000, but I did have high tax. I think the background looks nice. And I thought this one was going to do okay. I didn't think it was going to do this well. We did get rank 150. So I was hyped about that. But um, yeah, that was my submission. This right here is my second account submission. And I didn't really have a lot of items. I kind of just pieced together something I thought was cute. I don't have the results with me right here, but I also got 4,000 on this submission. And my rank was like 2,800 something. So... Um, one was on pretty much a newer account. I've completed the quest and stuff. I just didn't have a lot of items. And then that other one was my main account. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did well. We did do reset stream this morning. Unfortunately, a lot of people had very beautiful submissions. Really, really incredible. There was a lot of robberies going on this week. I don't know why. It's, it's definitely a shame. But just keep in mind, if you guys didn't get the results you were hoping for, I promise you. Your submission is wonderful. You're amazing. Your dream snap is amazing. Sometimes the voting system is just broken. Sometimes your submission just doesn't get shown to enough people because there's no way every submission gets shown equally. So I promise you, your dream snap is seriously so beautiful. So don't take it to heart. Sometimes we just got to unfortunately take the, the rank and just move forward. And hopefully next week, we're not one of the unlucky ones to get robbed, but... Um, I was very proud of everybody in Reset Stream and all the submissions that I saw over on Ranking. I thought they were absolutely incredible. Now, this week, we have a very interesting Dream Snap week. We got the Savannah Style. It's an outfit challenge. It says, we want to hear you roar. This week, dress up in a look inspired by the Lion King. Get bold, strut your stuff, and live Hakuna Matata. Tags are playful and strong, so very, very simple tags. Outfit, it shouldn't be hard to get your um, tags up high suggested is bold in the lion king and what's great about this theme is i think a lot of people have been neglecting their sunlit plateau 
talking about myself and uh, this is going to allow you to decorate a section of your biome set it up make it look really beautiful and then focus on your outfit take an awesome shot so i'm very hyped for this week's submission premium shop is interesting this week if you don't have a lot of these items you're going to be enticed to buy a lot of stuff because there's some really good stuff here we got the beach house it's been a while since we've seen that it's, it's expensive but it's actually not as expensive as a lot of the other houses in the game. It's only 3000 We got the Zero Fox Bundle, the Skeletal Mobile, the uh, Plant Beard and Mustache Bundle. This is something I didn't have yet. I went ahead and picked it up for 1000 Moonstones. They did bring back two pages. This is like one of my favorite houses in the game. It is perfect for so many Dream Snaps. The Fairy Bloss Home, so I went in and picked that up. Maleficent Wings, love the 1750. I have not seen the Wanderer's Kitchen set in months. I mean like probably six months plus. So that's a really good item. It's a pretty rare premium shop item. And then we have the Mickey Mouse Sweater Trio. So other than that, we just got some voting to do. Voting this week has been pretty interesting. Uh, as you see right off the bat, very beautiful submission. It's supposed to be all about, you know, love and friendship and all that. So they absolutely nailed it. I'm going to go ahead and give them a vote. But we're not going to be doing voting in this video. We'll be doing it in other ones. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and Goofy, thank you for greeting them. I hope you guys have the best day ever. We have a big week ahead of us and an even bigger week coming up next. But I hope you guys have the best day. Thank you so much and I will see you all in the next one.